The Foreign XT is a casting machine that has been produced by Bego for more than 50 years and is now in its sixth generation. The new Foreign XT distinguishes itself from other casting devices on the market by a number of special features that make it easier for the dental technician to work. It is equally well suited for precious metal and non-precious alloys up to a casting temperature of approximately 1550 degrees Celsius. The Foreign XT is a tabletop device, hence the letter T. It is compact and a plug-and-play device. Before the first use, fill the internal cooling tank with water and connect the device to the power supply. Possible are 200, 230 or 240 volts. The device itself has an integrated cooling system, providing for up to 50 casts in a row with no delay. First, switch on the Fornax T by pressing the green main switch on the right side of the machine. After a few moments, a sound indicates that the internal cooling system has been activated. This is the operating panel of the Fornax T, where all relevant functions can be set. This button shows whether the lid has been closed properly. It also opens the lid again, for example in order to place the mold. This button indicates which crucible or insert is being used. In this case, it is a graphite insert. Ceramic or glass carbon inserts are also possible. It is recommended to use original Fornax Ceramic Crucible FC and matching inserts. Pressing the button selects the insert and the associated speed. This button signals whether the cooling system is working properly. The upper button will later show if the heating process has been activated. The hourglass sets the alloy-specific reheating time. For example, 5 seconds like in this case. The time can be entered individually with the buttons plus and minus. An overview of the alloy-specific heat-up times is included with each device. With this wheel, the sensitivity of the integrated infrared sensor can be adjusted. For example, a value between 50 and 70% is ideal for preheating. Overheating or complete melting of the alloy is thus avoided. Later, when it's time to melt the alloy completely, a value of 100% has to be selected. When the lid is closed, you can see, the lid is completely closed, graphite insert is activated, the cooling water system is in order, and the melting process has begun. This is the observation window. It can be opened and closed. When closed, the melting process can be observed through the dark tinted protective glass to determine the correct casting time and trigger the casting. This is the Fornax T casting arm. It is characterized by a large number of possible settings. For example, the counterweight can be adjusted to all common mold sizes on the market. Metal lamellas on the mold holder enable even the use and safe casting of oval, flat mold systems. The sizes and weights of the molds are marked on the casting arm. Due to the design of the crucible holder with integrated protection, the crucible can be fixed in its position towards the mold. In preparation for the casting, the position of the mold can be optimally adjusted with the aid of a test mold, so that the alloy can flow directly into the mold after the casting has been triggered. A distance of 3 mm between the top of the mold and the ceramic crucible receiving plate should be kept. The adjustment of the slider is done with a clamping lever. The crucible outflow opening should be located inside the casting funnel of the mold. Subsequently, the alloy, like here for instance Vironit LA, is filled directly into the crucible or insert. The horizontal crucible slider is pulled backwards by the handle, the crucible coil is pulled up with a side lever, the test mold, if one has been used, is removed, the lid is closed and the melting process starts automatically. Now the pre-melting begins with a setting of about 70% sensitivity of the infrared sensor. After the pre-melting has finished, the mold must be removed from the preheating oven and placed in the correct position inside the Fornax T. With the closing of the lid, the complete melting of the alloy begins. For this, the setting of the infrared sensor must be increased up to 100%. When the liquid point is reached, the timer is activated by pressing the start button. A sound signal marks the end of the countdown and the casting is triggered by pressing the side lever. The casting process lasts about 35 seconds. The machine stops automatically and releases the lid for opening. The mold can then be removed.
For more information, please visit our website www.bego.com.